Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma anfa'ni bima'alantani wa alimni bima yanfa'ni wa zidni alman innaka al-alim al-hakim. Allahumma akhrijna min zulumat al-wam wa akhrimna bi nur al-fahim wa afta' alayna bi ma'rifat al-ilm wa sahil akhlaqana bil-hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is about short talk about acute epiglottitis. Epiglottitis is normally a life-threatening bacterial infection of the airway. and most commonly caused by hemophilus hemophilus influenza. And the typical age group is between three and six years. And the patient presented with fever, dysphagia, drooling, and sore throat. Nowadays, acute epiglottitis is this common due to, in children, due to immunized against hemophilus influenza type, type B. And uh, patient, as we said, it is represented with severe respiratory distress. And if you want to take an imaging, it should be in a standing position. And the uh, epiglottis and every epiglottic folds are enlarged with dilatation or enlarged of the hypopharynx. The thickening of the epiglottis result in thumb sign. In patient with croup, there is subglottic edema, edema, and epiglottitis are associated with uh, croup in about 25 percent. Here, this is the patient with acute uh, epiglottitis. He is bending forward, tripod position. Dwelling and patient with fever, toxic child with respiratory uh, distress. Here we see that this is the soft palate, and here this is the hypopharynx, and here this area, this is the normal epiglottis, and this is the trachea here. This is the normal. Here we see patient, this is the epiglottis compared with a large epiglottis here due to epiglottitis. And here, this is the every epiglottic fold is normal. And here, the every epiglottic fold is diffusely enlarged and swollen. Here, this is the nasopharynx, and this is the soft palate. Here, this is normal patient with normal epiglottis, and this patient with epiglottitis, as we see, the epiglottis is enlarged with thumb appearance. And here, we have the enlargement and thickened of every epiglottic fault. Again, another patient with normal epiglottis and here with thumb sign due to epiglottitis. As we see here, this is the normal, this is the soft palate, and this is the hypopharynx, and this is the epiglottis in between. As we see here, the epiglottis is enlarged with thumb sign, and here, This is the every epiglottic fold normal, and here this is the enlarged of every every epiglottic fold and enlarged hypopharynx. In this patient, we have enlarged palatine tonsil, and here this is the uh, adenoid region. 
here another patient with enlarged epiglottis giving the thumb appearance and enlarged thickened airy epiglottic folds typical of epiglottitis and here this is the soft palate and here this is the nasal nasopharynx here another patient with enlarged enlarged uh, adenoids and enlarged palatine tonsil and here also the epiglottitis uh, thumb sign enlarged epiglottis with enlarged airy epiglottic fold in summary every uh, infectious group giving the appearance patient with hoarseness seal like barking barking cough and epiglottitis it is muffled voice drawling and dysphagia here we have the in the x-ray we have the stable sign as we see here there is narrowing of the sub epiglottic area giving the stable sign and here in the lateral x-ray we have the thumb sign and this is the enlarged epiglottis the treatment in the probe uh, it is uh, with corti corticosteroid giving uh, the diagnosis uh, nebulized epinephrine added to moderate to severe in the moderate and severe group and here treatment is a treatment with antibiotic and vaccination plus uh, with antibiotic with antibiotic Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahubba wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.